Additionally, I think that um, when we are when we are in a situation of um, of modeling, we are actually in a position to influence other people because everybody nowadays wants to wear what David Beckham wear. People have moved from what they used to buy and they're looking for Victoria's Secrets and all these kind of things. So I want you to be able to persuade people to look nicely. One thing is the English of the Tell us why you're putting this on. Um, because um, because I'm wearing is I'm Yoruba, so I like um, Yoruba clothes. So that's why I'm putting on my traditional. Yeah. And for what occasion is this worn in your tribe? Um, party like um, sell it like birthday party or church program. If you find yourself in a desert, what are the three main things you will need? Um, I need water and something to eat. Three. That's only two. Um, and prayer. Like God should help me survive. Thank you. <laughs> she thinks it's beautiful. Wow. I think I so much love your smile. That's good. Um, if you find yourself in a desert, what are the three main things you will need? Water, food, and clothes. Thank you. Can you please tell us why you are putting this on? I don't know, because you represent my country. Like, it's a traditional, we're in Nigeria. Thank you. Um, we have a question for you. If you find yourself in a desert, you know a desert, what are the three main things you will need? Just um, I'll need water, food, my family and my friends. No, just <laughs> If you find yourself in the desert, what are the three main things you need? I will, I will need, I will pray for God to guide me. I will need food. This cloth 
is because it came from Nigeria, and from my country. If you find yourself in a desert, what are the three things you love to have? I love to have water, pray, and eat. <laughs> Why you are putting this on? Because I have to wear clothes. <laughs> Actually, I wore this black because I'm a black. I wore this clothes because in my state you represent loyalty. Ibo yeah. Kwenu! And this hat, and this hat, if you see an Ibo man taking this hat, it means he's taking his crown. So I, so I took my own. <laughs> That's so nice. If you find yourself in a desert, what are the three main things you love to have? First of all, I wouldn't like to go to a desert. <laughs> I don't know who to send me to a desert. Okay. But literally, I'll need, I'll need water to survive. And obviously, I'll, I'll have to carry my Bible in case if I see any animal or something. <laughs> And then lastly, I know if I'm holding my Bible, the Holy Spirit will be with me. So no, it does not count. So lastly, I'll need my tent for shelter. church which was found in Nigeria and I am a proud Nigerian woman so I told myself why not So the only three things I need is God the Father, God the Son. <laughs> Charity. 
what will be your role to the society? Well, I will try and help the children of these days to read more their Bible, to love God more, to see to see Christianity not as a rule but as a lifestyle to try and go along the road with Christ so that when they meet Christ they feel the amazing power that I feel every single day that for them to see it as a rule and for them to feel like they have to every day read the Bible that it's something that they have to do but I'd rather make them feel like it's something that they want to do Um, if you're given the title, A Model of Christian Charity, A Model of Christian Charity, what will be your role to the society? Um, actually, I'll try to portray, I'd like to show good examples for them to follow because obviously if I'm giving that, everyone would like to follow me. So I'll have to portray something good. And then, and then I would like to say, let them be themselves and follow the Holy Spirit because what I'm wearing might not be what they want to wear. So the Holy Spirit might tell me to wear something else and it might change another person's life. So that's what I would say. Thank you. A model of Christian charity. A model of Christian charity. What will be your role to the society? Tell them to be like they should be dressing well, teaching them the word of God, teaching them how to dress like Christians. Thank you. We are organizing this beautiful thing that we are doing here. And then I want to thank the church for coming, but most importantly, I want to thank my mother. <laughs> First of all, I wouldn't be here. That's right. And second of all, she tolerates me like nobody else. Uh -huh. That's true. That is true. <laughs> Only the new, all the things she has to do. I just want to thank my mother because she can never understand the love I have for her. Wow. And also, because she's the one that told me to wear this dress. So, thank you, mommy. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. We'll be having party, dancing, and every other thing. We still have some food left if you want to eat.